Okay, well, I'm actually really pleased that the Premier called me out on this, the Motor Neuron Disease Iced Bucket Challenge. Um, there's around about 140 people with motor neuron disease in Western Australia and every week somebody is diagnosed with the disease and every week someone dies from it because there is no known cure and the um, prognosis from the time that somebody is diagnosed to when they die is around about four years. Um, it's a really debilitating disease because it affects the motor neuron parts of the muscles so that um, the muscles can't receive any messages from the nerve endings and as a result the muscles slowly die and atrophy so that a person's entire body um, ends up atrophying and dying around them while they remain very alert all of their sensory perception their uh, ability to think and and uh, and everything is still there and um, so it's a really debilitating disease and most people would know that my sister Barbara has got the disease she's been diagnosed for around about three years now she's very um, dependent in a wheelchair um, so this is for Barbara her husband Doug and the wonderful people that provide care for her and the motor neuron disease so Ken give it your best <laughs> I'm sorry Helen <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh my god. Oh dear. Yeah, really slow and steady does the trick. Um well look, it's um now time for me to nominate three other people and um I'm wanting to make sure that the right honourable Lisa Scafidi gets in on the act. Um Dr. Ron Chalmers, the Director General for the Disability Services Commission, and Councillor Colin Campbell from the City of Armadale. Um, I'll happily pay $300 for these three people to undertake the challenge. Okay, that's it, guys. Well done. <laughs>